Okay, so there's video games, there's sports, but when it comes to fun, probably nothing beats an algebra word problem. Now, a lot of you are probably saying to yourself, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, just stick to the math. Don't really get into comedy. Well, listen, we have to try to lighten things up because we are dealing with a math word problem. And a lot of people are terrified at math word problems, especially algebra word problems. But what you have to do is relax and give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Okay, if you really put some effort into thinking about how to solve the problem, even if you don't get the exact answer, you're probably, you know, you very well could be on the right track. But let's go ahead and take a look at the actual question here. It says a computer and desk cost uh, $1,623.70. The computer costs double the desk. How much do they each cost? Now, again, this is a pretty typical type of uh, word problem that you will face in any sort of algebra course, something like pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two. So you're going to have to be able to do something like this if you're taking any one of those uh, levels of uh, math classes. But if you think you could do this, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one moment, but uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. It's my absolute passion to teach mathematics, and I can tell you right now, it is my firm belief, my conviction, that all students can be successful in mathematics. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that tend to struggle. If you failed math before in the past, that doesn't mean that you're incapable of learning. If you're struggling right now, that doesn't mean that you can't do very, very well. What you need is encouragement, the desire to learn math, and most importantly, math instruction you actually understand, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test you're getting ready for, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exams, these are all very important tests and they all have math on it. And if you homeschool mathematics, well, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that cover all these programs and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my uh, notes in the description as well because over the years I find that a lot of students don't take note taking seriously. Matter of fact, I was one of them way back in the good old days, but I can tell you right now it's very detrimental to your ability to learn math if you're not taking notes. So if you don't have great notes right now, you can use mine to study uh, from if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the answer here in just one second, but uh, and of course I'm gonna walk through the solution as well. But what's the first step in any word problem, any math word problem, what's the first thing you do? Well, I'm gonna tell you the, uh, the first and second thing to do, and it's probably gonna surprise you. The first thing you need to do is read the problem, okay? Now that's probably like obvious, right? Most of you are saying, well, of course, Mr. You know, math teacher, but the second thing you need to do is read the problem again, right? And probably the third thing you need to do is to read the problem one more time. You really have to get a really good sense of the information in the problem and particularly what is the question being asked? And how do you know uh, what uh, is the question in a math problem, okay, especially word problem? Well, you identify that little um, question mark and then you just kind of go backwards from there, right? So here in this particular problem, we want to know how much of these items each cost. We want to know the individual cost for the computer and desk. And here is the solutions right now. Okay, so the cost of the desk is about uh, $541.23, and the computer would be about $1,082.46. $1 now, you can be plus or minus a penny on here because there's a little bit of a rounding going on, but if you're pretty much in the ballpark with these uh, values, then you did this correct, which means you've earned yourself a nice, lovely, happy face in a plus a 100% and multiple stars to celebrate your awesomeness in math word problems. So nice job. Now, even if you didn't get these numbers or if you didn't figure this out and you were trying to figure it out, you know, you might, you very well could have been on the right track. And by the way, too, you should never look at a problem, okay, and if it seems like overwhelming or if it's like too difficult, 
just, you know, the wrong thing to do is to be like, I can't do anything here. You have to try. And this is very important. Uh, just a little quick commentary here, like on a uh, test or a quiz. Okay. So let's suppose this was a quiz uh, question or a test question. And you're like, oh, I can't do this problem. Well, maybe you can't get the exact solution. Maybe you can't solve it completely. But whatever you can do, you should list on your paper because your teacher, if they're saying, you know what, um, Bill here is trying to solve this problem. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. He seems to be going kind of in the right direction. So maybe I'll give him three out of 10 points for this particular problem. So you will get partial credit for some understanding of the problem solving process. Okay. So again, you should always attempt all the problems you're given, all the homework problems, all the quiz problems, all the test problems, et cetera, including this problem. But let's go ahead and get to the actual solution right now. All right, so again, here is the problem. A computer and desk together cost $1,623.70. The computer uh, cost double the desk. So this seems like it's gonna be pretty important information for us. Obviously, we're gonna have to use this piece of information and then obviously we're going to have to answer the question, which is how much do they each cost? All right, so there's a couple different approaches here, but after you've read the problem a couple of times, what we need to do is use some algebra to figure this out. And in algebra, we have variables, right? So variables represent a value. So we need to kind of uh, establish some variables. And this is one way you could do this problem. Probably the easiest approach to do this problem is we're going to let the variable X, okay, equal the cost of the desk. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're like, we don't know what the cost of the desk is, right? So we'll let X equal the cost of the desk. But we know that the cost of the computer is twice that of the desk, right? And how do we know that? Because it says so right here in the problem, the computer costs double the desk. So what would be like an obvious, um, in a way we can kind of write this variable here for the cost of the computer is 2x, which is two times the cost of the, dex, uh, of the desk. So if x is the cost of the, of the desk, then 2x is the cost of the computer. All right, so we also know that the total cost is $1,623.70. So that means that here I could be like, all right, well, this cost plus this cost, because this, this is what these represent, X plus 2X, which I have right here, this is the total cost of these computers, and we know that the, the total cost is this amount right here. Okay, so after you establish... Um, uh, assign some variables to represent something in your problem. The next step is you need to create an equation, right? You can't find out what the value of these variables are unless you can establish an equation. And this is hopefully a pretty obvious equation that we can establish. Okay, so right now we have this nice lovely equation. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to now solve for X. And once we get X solved for in this particular equation, that would be what the answer would uh, represent the cost of the desk. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so we have x plus 2x is equal to uh, 1623.70. So right here, what do we need to do? We need to combine like terms. We have 1x plus 2x, that's 3x is equal to this. So how do we solve for x? We simply divide both sides of the equation by 3. All right, so just get your calculator out. We have uh, 1623.70 divided by 3. And when you hit the Enter button on your calculator, you'll get this. I did round off a bit, but you get X is equal to 541.23. All right, so again, what does that equal to or what does that um, represent? So remember, we let X equal the cost of the desk. So that is the cost of the desk right here. Uh, 541 or $541.23 and 2x, I simply just take 2 and multiply by this value right here and we'll get the cost of the computer and there you go, $1,082.46. Okay, so hopefully this is uh, not that difficult, but here is a, a nice little exercise that I would suggest for those of you who didn't get this problem the first time. So you might be saying to yourself, oh, I totally get this. This is understandable. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, that's the whole idea behind me doing this video is to, you know, basically teach you 
how to do these basic uh, algebra word problems. But here is a challenge. So right now you might be pretty confident about this. What you should do, okay, to really challenge yourself to get better at word problems is come back to this problem, maybe write this down, and in uh, maybe, well, I don't know, six hours or a day or two, come back and see if you can do this problem without seeing the solution again. Just like, you know, see how your retention is, right? So if you can do this problem in a couple days, remember how to do it, that means that you're retaining this information. So don't get confused on watching me do a problem. At the time, you're probably saying, oh, I understand exactly what you're saying. This is very much like watching a person um, uh, get better at basketball, right? Let's say, you're, let's say you want to get better at basketball. Would you watch... Uh, TV all day and watch like the NBA and all these great players. Is that going to help you to watching someone else actually do it? No, it's not. The only way you're going to get better at uh, math or in anything for that matter is you actually have to practice the, this skill. Okay. So if you want to get better at algebra or algebra word problems, you have to do a lot of them. All right. So that's basically the main kind of point that I want to uh, leave you with. So if you need additional help in algebra or algebra word problems, let me give you a couple of suggestions. One, I would steer you towards my pre-algebra or algebra one course in my math help program or algebra two or college algebra pre-calculus. All those courses have various levels of uh, or proms in each of those courses. Also, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel as well on algebra word problems. But um, hopefully this particular video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.